sets don't come up too often, but they come up, you know, often enough that obviously knowing it will be important to get those questions right. Now, a set is just a collection of things. Now, a set is made up of members or elements. And a set can be numbers, it can contain letters, it can contain objects. It's just a collection of things. So one example of a set may be something like this. Set A contains the following elements. 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And then you might see set B contains the following elements. 8, 10, 12, 14. And then we could ask particular questions about this. We could say, what elements do these guys have in common? If we put the two sets together, what would the new set look like? And sometimes you'll see, I mean, you won't see it too much on the SAT, but in other areas you'll see symbols for this. So I'll just run through that now, uh, just to jog your memory if you've seen this. If we see this symbol, A, U, B, looks like a U at least, this stands for union. And by union, it means we take the elements and we just put them together. So the union of these two sets would be two, four, six, eight, it appears twice, but that's okay, we'll just write it once. 10, 12, 14. So we just put the two sets together. The other example is A with a kind of upside down U, B. And this is known as intersection. And this is basically where you take the two sets and you see what do they have in common. And then you write those in a new set. So what numbers do these two have in common? Well, they've got 8 in common and 10 in common. So our intersection of those two sets is just 8 and 10. Now again, you likely won't see the symbology, but you will see the um, you will sometimes see questions with sets where you have to you know intersect them or union them, but they won't use that language. But it's basically what you have to do. Now, one other kind of set question is, has to do with Venn diagrams. So a Venn diagram is just a graphical way of showing the relationships between you know collections of things. So one example that you often see is something like this. So you get two interlocking circles, and they'll say something like. 32 people have dogs and 26 people have cats and a dog and there are 100 total people so how many just have cats questions like that you see these on the SAT so I'm gonna go through this in actual questions in the math tactics series because you need specific questions and I want to use that uh, part to show you some specific questions where Venn diagrams can come in handy so go ahead and check that out